Hey everybody, it's Margo, and today in this one I thought we should cover Una, because I highly recommend picking her up before 7.3.5 goes live, as there's apparently going to be something very important hidden with uh, Una. And whether or not you need the pet is undetermined at the moment. I'm going to assume yes, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense if you didn't have the pet, that you couldn't do this. And it is a semi-rare drop uh, being listed at 5%. I can tell you personally, it took like 18 kills to get it. So it is, um, you know, kind of rare, especially if you don't have a bunch of alts to do it multiple times a day. But anyways, let's just get into it and how you get her and all that good stuff. So now the background for Una is she's she came with Argus, right? She drops off one of the rare spawns and uh, it didn't make a lot of sense because this is obviously not your average pet, okay? <laughs> she is classified as a pet in the journal and everything. Um, Obviously not your average pet. This is a little ghostly drain eyed girl. Um, you know, someone's daughter. And in her background story or the uh, explanation for where this poor little thing came from is one of the many children thought lost in the battle for Argus only to find themselves infused into an Urzul. Very, very dark. Uh, because if you don't remember what an Urzul is, Urzul is one of these creatures okay so you loot her off the corpse of the many faced devourer rare and it is indeed one of these creatures now the rare is located right here on the map but you can't just summon it through normal means i'm going to show you quickly how you summon this thing okay to start getting um the items required to summon the girl that many faced devourer over there um, you first have to collect this item. It's called Call of the Devourer. And um, this guy right here seems to have a 100% drop rate, or maybe just rares in general, but just randomly kill anything in this area, and it seems like you'll pick it up after a few kills. So, get that, and then we'll head to each location. Now, the first bone isn't far off where you begin. So, as you can see... Um, the boss that I was just talking about, Rack School, or rather the rare. He's right there, and then right over here, so just over here, is the intact fiend bone you're gonna need. Again, you won't be able to click this unless you have the call of the power, so make sure you've gotten this first. But yep, Rack School, and then right there. So after you got that, let's move to the next one. Next, we're gonna head to this location, so right here on the map inside this t cave we gotta go so well, tunnel cave whatever you want to call it but we gotta go in here because the bone we need is about midway through and the reason I'm showing you on this character is I've already completed this on Merkel that's why I'm able to summon it but da -da 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 -da. Well, that's about halfway if I remember around this one should be on the floor in here there it is, the little bone you have to lose. These are very, very hard to see. That's why you got to be looking for it. But Imp Bone, we've managed to pick that one up. Let's go grab the last bone. And you do not, just a notification, right? You do not have to pick these up in this order. If you'd rather go pick up one of the other bones first, or you're close to it, whatever it may be, take them as you please, or how you choose. And the final bone is way off over here at this little altar like thing it is the intact Urzul bone now you've got everything alright since you've collected all three you head back to about where you started originally so right here roughly on the map and uh, there's this bone effigy on the ground so let's clear out these little runts because they'll interrupt you but clear them out and there we go So they're all dead clear them out and you can create the effigy which thus summons this and after this boom now you can summon the many face devourer every day you can kill it I mean you can summon it as many times you want but you only get loot from it once a day um, somebody else can summon this for you too so you do not have to be the one summoning this meaning uh, your loot you know will be provided as such so that's it now, I would highly recommend, again, going every day, killing this rare. Um, you can do it on alts, like I said. 
the only feasible way to log out though um is if somebody else is there attacking it so logging out really doesn't work i know it's kind of a nuisance to constantly have to summon it but if you have a friend willing to help you or something like that you can technically use your main account to summon it and then log out on everybody else or you can go out of your way and collect all the bones on every character Probably easier to do that, honestly, if you don't have two accounts at your disposal. Um, but definitely pick this up because Jeremy Fiesel is one of the two individuals that was highly uh, involved in the Lucid Nightmare, right? The Lucid Nightmare was obviously the big old mount, caused a lot of fuss, we had lots of fun getting it, all those good things. Um, He's been talking about Una, the pet, right? He's been speaking about her and saying you gotta help save her before it's too late. Now, I don't think they would ever remove the pet. Um, he's probably just talking about lore-wise, something to do with the scenario, things like that. But very, very interesting, whatever's gonna come about to this pet. Definitely pick it up ASAP. So that way, in case it is a requirement, because I do think it will be one, you have it ready for 7.3.5. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck on the drop. I hope it doesn't take you too many kills. If you already have it, then you're good to go. And just wait to see what comes. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.